So my painting, which we'll put up a little thing. So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's really beautiful. She looks like an angel. Oh, yeah. 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 It kind of, yeah. It kind of felt like that at the end. It really was. Um, the tiger lily was the most predominant thing that came up first. So like yours with the eagle, the tiger lily was like the thing that popped out right at the very beginning. And I've had a lot of this lately about keeping flowers open, the concentration on not allowing that flower to close and that energy to close up. Oh. And keep, so your reminder is to keep that flower open. Well, I felt closed down quite a bit uh, in the past few months, I think. So yeah, yeah. so that was, was the very beginning of my reading with you, yeah. The other oh, yeah. thing no, that was good. interesting is you went outside yes. and then inside and then yeah. oh. I took everything outside. I was so called to do it outside. I had everything set up and I have the most gorgeous view in the world. And I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. And then I was like, I have to go inside. I'm like, but I don't want to go inside. It's so nice outside. I'm like, no, you have to go inside. And so I, I did, I came back inside, but I was like, mm, there's something going on here. <laughs> so. And it's, it's bang on because I do love being outside and I have found, especially with being in school full time that I'm inside a lot and I feel better if I'm out in nature with being in school, I've just been stuck inside and so focused on like what needs to be done. My list of things that needs to be done. So that's um, that list. Yeah. <laughs> instead of um doing what's best and it's if you get balance i get told like that you know to do what is in my gut and my heart what's best for me even though my monkey brain as you experienced <laughs> is like oh just yeah overwhelmingly busy and uh and quite nervous a little stressful about trying to get as much done as i can in the last, uh, I guess, two and a half years, yeah, yeah the end of summer 20, uh, 2019, yeah. I um, closed my practice, I left my marriage, I moved. Basically gave your your whole life the- I walked away. Walked away from it. I walked away from it because I was really sick and I knew in my heart that I had tried everything else and uh, that I knew those were the things that needed to be done. It was that leap of faith. We have those moments where it's now or never, do or die. So I took that leap of faith and definitely did feel better. Oh my goodness, it made such a difference. Um, the whole world opened up. Okay, so sorry. At the end of your reading, there is something about, okay, so I know that you got married. I didn't realize that you were married <laughs> before. So there is something at oh, the end yes. of the thing that See, now that makes that. total sense to me. And I actually, ah. there's a bit more oh. to that. And I didn't want to put it in because I was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> I was very confused. Yeah. So, <laughs> and that was, what it so said, I, they ask you release a block about a past love. Do not bring them into the energy field. So, is he still in your life somehow? Yes. Yeah, a lot. Well, we share our dog. They have joint okay. custody of their dog. And and we we are fine. Like, you know, he was broken, but I think now he realizes that it was for the best, best for both of us. We mm -hmm. had just hit that fork in the road and mm -hmm. we had spent our time together, become who we were, but it was time to become our new selves separately. And yeah, we're still in contact quite a bit. And okay. I know that we had done an episode on cord cutting because I worry about him. And I just ah, okay. okay. happy as I am. Bring him in. It's me. It's yeah. me. I need to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes okay. Thank you. That's where that I, comes from. Yeah. That kind of that comes it was from. just okay. a, I guess the cord cutting didn't quite hold. Because I I just wanted to be happy. So you're basing that on, on him. So you're, if he's happy, then I get to be really happy. <laughs> yes. Which we know that, you know, everyone has their own journey and I, it's not yeah. my responsibility to, 
to. I mean, it's a hard one to to let go of. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I mean, I give you total props for doing what you've done. That's amazing. Thank you. But it's been it's been a busy time, like between all those things. Place, and I think that's where my nervous, scattered brain is. Why the energy? Because there was just so many things that we were juggling. Um, big life events that were all yeah. happening at the same time. And maybe that's why you almost have have to close down because it's just too much going on. But Nadine's reminding you yes. to stay open, right? Yeah. Very that yeah, I was just gonna say, and the flower is rooted in the ground. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So and that's after that getting, after getting your your report, I have spent way more time outside. Awesome. Yeah, it was a really great reminder and I, I'm on a farm as well. It's summer, so it's time to get to work. Uh, but I'm, I'm yeah. it's great. I'm loving being outside working the land and, oh, actually. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask about that too. Yeah. So, so this part. <clears throat> right? So, yeah. So yeah. You, you actually <laughs> I, so I, about a pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't, so, but um, <laughs> I, so after like, you were talking about, you know, um, giving birth and, and mother earth and all that kind of stuff, I honestly call all the seeds and all the things that we do here, my babies. So it's that oh. time right now where, where we've seeded and we're sowing and um, we're watching. So that's your heart. That's because the heart is in the womb. So yeah. that's your, like that heart chakra is in the, the womb area. Mm -hmm. And so at first it was like this womb and I was like, well, maybe pregnancy. That's maybe why I'm getting like some of the jitters or, but then they were kind of doing more of a, like a mother earth type thing. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah that's, then I, that's exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think Karen and I were talking about it and then I even just without even realizing it, I said, my babies. Yeah. yeah. So and I'm like, bingo, <laughs> yeah. where that comes from. Yeah. So oh, awesome. perfect sense, absolute perfect sense. Um, and the other thing that I really liked was, um, I feel like I'm a walking contradiction and you totally nailed it because you say, <laughs> so I have to say, I'm loving the yin and yang of your energy. I'm getting such opposite ends, confident, but anxious, fierce, but gentle, fragile, but strong, pure, but dark. And oh, yes. it's so great that you picked up on that. Cause my strength is actually in my darkness. Um, so it is very darkness. predominant. Yeah. It, it's very predominant. Um, I, I thought you look so like gentle and so <laughs> and, the no, no there's like this yeah this mm -hmm. yeah I, I like I had that vision of like motorcycle check kind of thing like oh. black leather like just yeah. <laughs> got tears from piercing <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and that's I what I got I love my leather jacket and, and you used to go to like heavy metal rock. I'm, I'm a metal earth. Yeah, Def Leppard metalhead. In fact, I have uh, a bunch of shows this year, just like with you know, Def Leppard. So that is the total yin and yang. <laughs> you do not look like that at all, like with that persona at all, right? So I'm like, I have like opposite ends of the spectrum here. And it was really cool because they weave together seamlessly. So it, it isn't a fault. It is, it is beautiful because they seamlessly, it's not like a, I'm over here and then I have to be over here. They go together. And it was, it was really cool to kind of go in through that. It kind of, you know, you felt like so gentle and nice. And then I felt like a real badass. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> it was, it was really cool. I have to say that. So but that's again like getting into people's energy and it was like this is just that was really cool yeah I loved it you, when you wrote that I just burst out laughing because that is definitely me um, are you tired all the time oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sorry <laughs> she okay. has four four autoimmune diseases really yeah. and you know what so so we're both a kind of a hot mess. This is why we started. Well, there's other reasons too, you know, and so on. but this is, we were on our own journey to heal. And, um, 
this is why we started the channel. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, that's totally awesome. And, and yeah. being able to be in all of the different modalities is because you take something from every single one of them. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so you decided that you were so not well, have autoimmune diseases and, and then went through all of this stuff and then went to school. Uh, I have a, a background in medicine. Okay, you're a professional student. I'm totally a professional student. That's okay. Her. So yeah. is there so, there's something in there? I'm yes. sure of it. I read yes. before yes. I came on. About studying. And you actually say it's time to, oh, here we go. Now it's time to play. Creativity is calling you. The time of being a student is almost over, which would, to me, end at the PhD level. <laughs> I can't go any further, right? Right. Um, time to step with confidence into the role you're giving birth to. Mm. Okay. So it's not, yeah, because it's time to 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 be done with school when school is done. Yeah. The professional student has to end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Don loves learning. I mean, I do too, but Don follows through, right? And just, yeah. Yeah, I don't actually know why I'm doing my PhD. I'm called to do it. Um, okay. well you're gonna so, need it for something yeah yeah so I know that it yeah. will lead to something well it but says I actually to don't give, know wait where does it say into the role that you're giving birth mm -hmm. to so Which, obviously this will it's gonna it shape to something yeah. yeah and especially since I I don't know what that is like I'm literally doing this just because I feel called to do it I people are like what are you gonna do when you get you know when you yeah. become a doctor and I'm like I don't know I figure it's gonna present itself at the time I guess when I birth it yeah <laughs> it's a long pregnancy though <laughs> but I just yeah like Karen with hers I am so in love with this reading like it blew my mind the painting is gorgeous and then to get the the written up part was just beyond amazing and I love that you sent cards and that you have crystals in mind and I there's a lot since receiving it that I have done because of the advice that you've given so um I really 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 appreciate it thank you thank you yeah. so much and and as I said earlier we've done over 100 episodes and this was just amazing it yeah. was never seen on. anything like it yeah so but this is definitely your superpower. Oh, so 100%. Thank yes. you. I'm so glad that you found it and that you discovered it and that you're utilizing it because it's just it's Thank you. brilliant. Brilliant. Yes. So that being said, how can people get in touch with you? Um, on my website, so violethealing.ca and on Instagram, violet underscore healing. That's where I do most of everything is on Instagram, so... Yeah. And you can book from your website for the yes, oracle cards, yep. for distance healing, for the intuitive energy painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so like you've got all yeah. your listed there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So thank you so much, Nadine. This was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Really such a great, great time talking with you and reviewing what you had sent us. And hopefully there was some clarity for you on how accurate your readings were um and then it was really great to clarify some things as well because now um it gave me some deeper perspective yeah mm -hmm. yeah so for our viewers if you like this video make sure you give us the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so mm -hmm. and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode and we just thank you for spending this time with us and hope that you learn something Remember to, to visit violethealing.ca and uh, get yourself your own intuitive energy painting with Nadine. So thank you, Nadine. Thank you. Thank you first. so much. We'll see you all again soon. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.